welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Trash Talk. The bag's different. Let's not go into it. In a nutshell, we have been living out of the living room and the bedroom and everything. Ignore this mess over here. We've had our bathroom ripped out and a new bathroom put in and we're still kind of living a bit of a mess. So the bag that I normally have is somewhere else. We use this little one. Let's not make a thing of it. Guys, ready to talk some trash? Let's do it. Really tried to make the whole aesthetic a bit more pleasing, but we're all friends, you know, it's life. Life happens. So guys, this bag is a bit different and I'll tell you why. Um, I've been on holiday, as you know, and obviously on holiday, I took loads of minis with me. I decanted stuff into little boxes and packages and things. My grand plan was to film on holiday, a holiday edition trash talk. That would have been great. However, um, I couldn't be bothered. I'm <laughs> be really, really honest. We have not had a holiday for three whole years. We were desperate to get there. When we got there, we couldn't be bothered to do anything. We literally ate and drank for two weeks and that was it. Um, so I'm really sorry. This is a scaled down, but actually I've got loads of makeup and stuff in here. So it's actually quite interesting. So let's just dive right in, shall we? This was the Garnier Hyaluronic Acid Aloe Water Micellar Water. I love these. I've been going through these. I've been getting these from Look Fantastic because they always have great deals on. I purchased the one year unlimited next day delivery from Look Fantastic. Best and worst thing I've ever done in my life. Best from the reason that um, you get everything next day. Bad because if you want it, you can have it next day. So anyway, this stuff is really good. It's really, oh, what's the word? It's really soothing and it just takes off any last bits of makeup. I tend to use this after my double cleanse in the evening just to get rid of any last bits of mascara, just to t tone the skin before I use my Elemis toner. Um, it's a really nice step and I just really enjoy taking it and I've been using these loads. So love that. I have a different one on the go right now. So you'll see that in a future episode. This was my LV Colour Protect Purple Shampoo. I use a purple shampoo a couple of times a week for my lovely grey hair. Um, I used to use it once a week. I've stepped that now because I just feel like my, my hair needs it a bit more. Now that the gray has really come through the front, it seems to be a bit more prominent now. I don't know because my hair is longer, but I can really notice that I need it more. This one I really enjoyed. I'm not gonna repurchase it right now, only because I have my keratin one on the go at the moment. Um, I have, I don't know, I don't have another one, no. So after that one, I'll see what's available on the market, but I would definitely get this one again. I really enjoyed it. And uh, it's really good for just bringing out the yellow out of your blonde or silver hair. So yes, love that. Um, what else have we got that's skincare, hair care, whatever, not much. Um, so this is the Way Hair Oil. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this was a little travel size glass bottle, which was quite annoying because uh, I wanted to take it on holiday. I actually decanted this into a little plastic pipette and used the whole lot on holiday. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, not much to say, really. It says a mass multitasking oil that smooths frizz and seals split ends for a high gloss, super smooth finish. That's what any hair oil does. I'm not going to purchase it um, a full size because I have two Kerastase ones on the go right now, one in the bathroom, one in the bedroom. So I don't need hair oil for quite some time, but I really liked it. I love the way products. I think they're really, really great. That's Jen Atkin of Kardashian fame, if you don't know who she is. Uh, oh gosh, okay, we're done with the skincare hair care. So let's get on to makeup. This, I've got quite a lot. This was the Bobbi Brown Stone Street Bronzer. I say was, I can't even show you. There's one, I'm scared to tip this up, one tiny little bit there. If I have a video of me applying this, I'll insert it so you can see the shade. I have repurchased this from Look Fantastic. They had 20% off of Bobbi Brown. And the older I get, the more I love Bobbi Brown. I don't know what it is about her products, but um, they're amazing. Stone Street is a slightly cooler toned bronzer 
perfect for my skin tone autumn winter it doesn't give an orangey look it's definitely a lot more gray sounds disgusting but honestly if you have my kind of skin or a bit lighter stone street is a perfect bronzer really really great um i have used up the better than uh, mascara by Too Faced. I liked it. I had the little travel size. If you don't know me by now, you know, if there's a, a travel size mascara anywhere, I'm going to buy it because I just love a little trial size. I've never found a mascara that I really want to commit to for life. So when I can try them all out in the mini sizes, I'm here for it. I liked it. Um, I just hate the way they have to put sex into everything. Like, better than sex, what does that even mean? Like, if you get a mascara that's better than that, I feel sorry for your love life, is all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> well, let's do a foundation, shall we? Forever by Dior. This is the matte finish. Uh, I always do matte, because it's not matte, it's like a satin finish, but this is that one. This is in the shade 2W, my regular size. Now, this has been my go-to foundation for four years now. I have used virtually nothing else except for the Pat McGrath, but I bought that because I fell in love with Pat McGrath. It was on sale, got it. Anyway, I have a story. Let me tell you the story. For my holiday, I bought the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in Golden Sun. Um, just because I knew I'd go dark, I didn't want to spend £40 on a foundation that was just going to be used for like a month after I got back from holiday. So this has been my favourite. I love it. I have repurchased it, repurchased it, repurchased it for four years. It does everything I need it to. It gives me the perfect finish. It lasts all day without needing to touch up really, just to make a bit of shine down maybe. It's glorious smooths out pores, it does everything I need it to. Then I bought the True Match and I tried that on. That's what I'm wearing today. Guys, I love it. To the point where I'm like, I'm gonna get this in a lighter shade. So would I repurchase this? Yes, but I'm actually going to give the L'Oreal True Match a go in a normal shade when I've lost my tan. So stay tuned. But this has been my favorite foundation for years. If you've got 40 pound to drop on a foundation, by all means, this is the one I would go for. But I'm actually gonna see how I get on with L'Oreal. So we'll see. Hourglass Diffused Light Powder. As you can see, we've got a tiny bit of corners going on. Not a great deal. Um, I love this powder. If you, again, if you know me, you know the love of Hourglass runs deep. I have worn Hourglass makeup for at least 10 years now. I started with the blushes and the ambient lighting powders. I will always have at least one ambient lighting powder in my rotation. Right now, I have two. Um, the diffused light is great for autumn, winter. As you can see, it's really pale. If you don't know what these do, these are not setting powders, these are finishing powders. So what that means is when you've finished your, all of your makeup, you put this on top and it kind of gives you an illuminated candle lit glow from within and it genuinely does. I have mine on today, I use it slightly differently. I put my setting powder on, my loose setting powder, and then I put this on over top. Then I apply my bronzer, my blushes, and it just gives me a lovely glow. But as you can see, the glow is there. This is perfect for autumn, winter. Would I repurchase it? Yes. Have I repurchased it? Yes. I have one ready to go in the last 25% off friends and family sale that they did. So if you get a chance to go to Hourglass, try on some ambient lighting powders, please, God, do it. They're amazing. Still on Hourglass, this is my Obsidian uh, Gel, Mechanical Gel Liner. This I use for my upper waterline thing. Um, and I use it to basically give a cat eye 
but smoke out. Again, if I have B-roll, I'll insert it of how I use it. This gives such a great smoky line without looking too solid. Today I have on the Kat Von D, which is a solid line and it's a liquid eyeliner. This is a mechanical gel eyeliner, so it is different, but I just roughly draw this on because it's very, very skinny. So you can't, you can do an eye like this, but it won't last very long. I do like a very messy line and smoke it out just to sort of give an extra bit of oomph to my makeup without having that solid line. As the autumn winter rolls in, I do prefer a solid line, but in the summer, I like something a little bit more smoky and a bit more subtle, which is the obsidian but I genuinely love it. I do have others in my collection. They sell a kit of four for like 47 pounds. So I bought the four, when again, they had that 25% off. When Hourglass do a friends and family 25% off week, you should really sign up to their mailing list because it tells you, then you can have a, a wish list going. You save a fortune. You spend a fortune, but you save a fortune. Perfumes. I have my FM906. So FM, if you don't know, I've teamed up with FM and they are basically perfume, your favorite perfumes, but without the massive price tag. So this is a five out of five dupe for the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So if you don't know me, again, I love me a smoky, sexy, almost masculine fragrance. This is tobacco and vanilla combined. It puts down initially a really deep, smoky, sexy smell. And then as it warms up during the day and it kind of settles down, you get the vanilla come through. If you want to know anything about it, just drop me a, a DM um, on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram here and uh, leave me your phone number. I will send you a fragrance list. But this is a dupe for the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille and that is £215. This is £27.50. I think there's one square left. <laughs> yeah. Let me know if you're interested. I do an order like once a month, so let me know. And then this one was not so great. I bought this out of sentimental value. This is the CK1 by Calvin Klein. And it was the very first kind of unisex fragrance that was on the market in the 90s. Kate Moss modelled for Calvin Klein. Everybody who wants to be Kate Moss. I still want to be Kate Moss. She's still fabulous. And I just saw this in the um, Boots Christmas sale and it was like £12 or something with a shower gel as well and a body lotion. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get that. It's fine. I mean, the last two months of this, I used it as a toilet freshener. I mean, there's nothing to say. It's very dated. It's very old. It's not for me anymore. I got it for sentimental purposes. After one spray, I was like, oh. But I used the shower gel, used the body cream. It was all very nice, but I used it for work. It was okay. Now, guys, we move on to the Elemis section. <laughs> Elemis section is really small because I took a load of Elemis on holiday that was nearly used up and I forgot to, well, I didn't forget. I just couldn't be asked filming. So, this is quite small. So I've used up the Dynamic Resurfacing Face Wash. This range has been a bit of a game changer for me. This kind of takes down, the Dynamic Resurfacing takes down bumps and lumps if you have them on your skin. I have textured skin, I have spots. This stuff is brilliant. It smells so fresh. And I use two pumps of this in the shower in the morning and sometimes in the evening as a second cleanse, if I can remember, but usually in the morning. And it just really makes my skin nice and bright. It really brings down any bumps, any texture. When I was on holiday, I get terrible spots because of the SPF that I use. Any SPF that I use will really break me out. I'm telling you, I had like the most disgusting lumps along my chin. Oh, they were painful. It was awful. 
one week of being at home. I got home last Sunday. One week of being at home. My skin is back to its glory. This is amazing. I've got another one backed up. I have two more in the loft from a recent day special value. Thank you, QVC. Again, I'll link everything below. But yeah, if you get a chance to try the resurfacing range, dynamic resurfacing, definitely do it. Absolute eye mask. I got this in a kit wasn't my favourite thing. I used it every night and I slept in it every night. Um, it, I, don't, I, I don't know what it's supposed to do. It says nourishing, smoothing, dynamic mask is formulated for the delicate eye area. Absolute rose and mimosa are blended with corn flour to help counteract dullness and lines whilst rehydrating. I don't know because my eye area isn't a massive concern to me. I'm very lucky. Well, I'm not lucky. I spent a fortune on Elemis, so that's probably why. But I, I prefer the peptide cream. I don't feel like this did anything that my eye creams don't do. After not using this for like a month, I haven't been like, oh my God, my eyes look so awful. So I don't think this did anything for me, but it was nice. But you can't win them all, can you? Now, last, we have the Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. One of my favourite uh, night, night cream, not eye cream, night cream. One of my favourite night creams ever, if not my favourite. I love how this adapts to your skin. Like if your skin's dry, it will give you more moisture. If it's, if it's more hydrated, it will just do something else. It's just so great. And it's so, it's like a gel tech. There's like zero product left. It smells great. It's like just a gel texture to it. It doesn't feel heavy. It just does everything I need it to. That's the thing about Elemis is it's like, I don't have to think about what I'm doing. I just put it on and it just does what it does. It's amazing. Um, highly recommend. Guys, we're done. Short but sweet. Next time will be longer. This would have been way longer if I'd have filmed it on holiday. I do regret not doing it now, but I had a great holiday. I just wanted to unplug and not do any work. I know I love doing YouTube, but it's still a job. You still have to work and you still have to put time aside and you've got to edit the videos and you've got to film it all and look good and everything. And to be honest, it was so hot over there. I couldn't be bothered to do my makeup for filming and stuff because as soon as I put it on, it slid off and all of that business. So I'm really sorry I didn't film. I'll insert some video here of my beautiful hotel room and the lovely views and everything so you can understand why I couldn't be bothered. But I did use, while I was on holiday, very, very briefly, I'll tell you, I took my cleansing balm with me for double cleansing day and night, which I really enjoyed. I bought with me my Kiehl's shampoo and conditioner that I got in their advent calendar a couple of years ago. And the 65 mil lasted me the entire two weeks and I washed my hair every day. I also decanted some of this into a little pot to um, do my, my purple shampoo because my hair was battered by the sea and chlorine and stuff like that. Um, I used up my Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF 30, um, and I took my, uh, what did I take? My Dynamic Resurfacing Night Cream. I haven't finished that yet, but that'll probably be in the next one. Um, my Peptide Eye Cream I took. Uh, I took some of the Whey um, Hair Oil, um, oh, and I took a variety of like hair masks and things that I just bought from Boots, like the sachet hair masks, because obviously your hair gets battered. So I just bought a Lee Stafford Coco Loco um, one and a Argan Oil one. Um, and that was it. Quite low key, quite, you know, quite boring. I took a simple face wash, my moisturizing face wash with me as well and my face wipes and that was it and a mini of the original micellar water and some cotton pads and that was it guys so those were my trash from my holiday but all of those are trusted products i've never taken anything on holiday i've never used before i always take the stuff that i know is good for me because the last thing i want to do on holiday is have any worse skin or you know make my hair battered or crap so that's what i did I really hope you enjoyed this video, shortish, shorter but sweeter, and uh, I will see you next week for another video. Take care, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.